Hello, Nico2064 here, back with another video, and today I'm going to make a custom Lego Joe Gardner from Seoul. So, let's get into this. So, the legs I took, um, I think these are from the mariachi guy. Um, I don't know, I, I, at a certain point I just quit caring, uh, because I used these legs for so many characters and I bought a whole bunch of them, uh, online. Uh, but, you know, if you, find, if you have these legs, I think they're from the mariachi. Someone could probably comment that down below. Um, but, uh, for the torso, I took, um, this, uh, business suit, which is coming in a lot of sets recently. Uh, it was Happy Hogan's torso in the Spider-Man Far From Home set. It came in an Overwatch set. That's where I took this one from. Uh, and if you do get it from the, um, Spider-Man Far From Home set, then you could just get these hands from Nick Fury. Um, but, you know, those are just brown hands. Uh, he's kind of wearing, like, a, a, a turtleneck sweater. Um, I think. <laughs> we didn't really get much footage, you know, of course, because it was a short clip, but... Yeah, I just thought this was be this would be good enough, and maybe I'll make him a, uh, as an updated figure if we don't get sets for the movie. Uh, which, I, I don't know if we will, because Pixar, um, I don't know. I mean, sorry, Lego doesn't really do, uh, I don't know, things like, I don't know, that relate to Soul, you know? Um... But, I didn't have a face with glasses, so I had to use this, um, uh, falcon face. Uh, and I think this works okay. Um, I could not find mine, but there's a, uh, I forget who he, what's his name? You know, the Ghostbuster? Um, sorry, I don't remember it. Um, but, yeah, that one just has, like, a mustache. Uh, this one's okay. Um, but... You know, if you can find a good face, then that that's good. Um, I, uh, if you wanted to go, like, with a lighter skin tone, then you could probably use the uh, Commissioner Gordon face. Um, but yeah, this is just what I used. Uh, and then I took this um, uh, Emmett hair in black uh, from the Flintstone set. Um, and of course, you could just use the, um, uh, the Finn hair piece from Star Wars. But... I kind of wanted to use this, uh, so that it wouldn't just be, uh, Falcon, um, but, hey, whatever, uh, the hair doesn't really matter, I'm sure it will probably change through the movie, uh, actually, I think he'll probably be in his soul form for a lot of it, but whatever, um, and then, of course, I just gave him a, a black suitcase, uh, yours won't have the sticker on, of course, that was just from the, the Go Brick Me set, I had that on there, um, man. Sorry, this suitcase is old. I need to get a new black suitcase, but... Yeah. Um, he has that in the trailer. Uh, and if you've seen the trailer, then you know, uh, he plays the piano. So I took this one from the friend set. Uh, this is an actual build from that. I think it was also on the phone. Um, so I guess you could give him a phone. I don't really have a good phone piece near me, so I guess I'll just have to give him his friend's phone. It's the closest one by me. Uh, and, yeah. That's my little, um you know, custom, uh, and before you ask, I can't really do the, the soul forms of, uh, him or the, I don't know if that character has a name, you know, the one Tina Fey character, but, um, you know, I don't know if there's a good color, I think this color, the spring green, uh, for this plant would work, um, but of course they don't make like heads and stuff and a whole bunch of pieces in that color, so, I don't know, maybe I'll come up with an idea, but, for now, I'm just gonna skip out on that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I am very excited for the movie. Uh, I know you guys get weird when I say I'm, like, super excited for a movie, even though it doesn't look that good. Hashtag onward. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, this movie looks, you know, just average uh, from the trailer. But Pixar has the way of doing things. Uh, that makes their movies, like, extra creative and, like, really, really good. Um, so that's why I'm, like, super hyped for all these movies, because when they take, like, a, a crazy idea, like, uh, you know, like a monster in the closet or, like, human psychology, you know, Inside Out, and it looks good, you know? Like, I'm sure Inside Out was, like, really crazy. I was pretty young at the time, so I didn't really have much of a, you know, trailer analysis, um... But, yeah, I always get excited for Pixar movies because they just take a weird concept and make it really good. Um, and, of course, it was just a teaser trailer, but I hope we get some more plot details sometime. I mean, 
of course, they always have the whole description uh, of the movie in the, the description of the teaser trailer. Um, but, you know, I didn't have time to read that. I just had to look for the name of this guy. But, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I want there to be Lego sets, but since there weren't sets for Coco or Inside Out that deal with more, like, I don't know, like, adult concepts, not like, you know... Not they can't be seen by ch children, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't think they'll make Lego sets for this. Uh, especially because the characters kind of look like... I, I mean, <laughs> they don't, but they kind of look similar to the trolls. Um, like, just with their bodies and stuff. Uh, and, of course, you've seen the teaser and stuff. They're making Lego trolls sets. So, of course, they probably won't be doing that. Um, but, yeah, I do have some more... Uh, Customs, you know, uh, um, coming up in a few days, uh, but I'm probably gonna, uh, stick to, like, some Disney Plus stuff, so if you have any ideas for that, of course, once we see, like, the episodes of Mandalorian and stuff, there will be a lot more to make stop motions of, and, like, you know, mocks, and customs for other characters, so, yeah, um, Nico2064, signing off.